Once again, Fred, this is Fred Lots. I'm coming to you live from the Jerk Fest. It's crazy down here. A whole lot of people, a whole lot of food. I got a friend of mine. He's been in this business for quite some time. Ari Cham, of course. And everybody knows him. All right? He's an icon in this business. So I want to, you know, let him talk a little bit, something about himself. Greetings, this is yours truly, DJ Rai, Odingi, Kiato, Aburuki, Bushiwaki from Ari Jam Radio, Road International. Ari Jam celebrating 20 years this year, Road International celebrating 30 years. So, again, it's a milestone for us, but we couldn't do it without the people. So, big up everybody right now. I watch. I have a big up Fred Lux for a theme thing turn up. Guys, see him there backstage. I can't even get backstage and Fred Lux the backstage. That means him thing turn up well, well loud, all right? So, big respect, Bridget. Keep watching. Your truly DJ Rai said one love. Hi, this is Fred Lux. Once again, this is not only for the Fred Lock Show, but I'm doing a little co-hosting for Miss Fuller, Serene Fuller, the Serene Fuller Show. Now, I have a very interesting young man with me. He's the editor-in-chief of uh, Where It's At. Well, well, let me correct that real quick. I'm the publisher. publisher? The editor-in-chief is a young man who is my grandnephew named Nadika Butler. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, see, I'm, that's good information. Okay. Now, I've, I've known you for quite some time, and I, I, I've, I've seen this paper grow. And I, I can say, besides some of the other uh, formats that's out there, this is like one of the best. Now, I hope you guys have seen the latest issue, you know. And it's very colorful. And don't think that it, it takes a lot of work. To brother, you like see the colors, my brother? Yes. You check the colors? You oh, let's see how you the colors, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it reflects the spirit and the vibe from okay. Jamaica. Although we're Caribbean, okay. Jamaica has a strength and a dominance in this community. Yes. Because when you look around and see the small businesses, mm -hmm. you see the contribution we've made to this United States. Yes. Yeah. We're very proud of that. And where it's at is the platform for our people. Well, I, That's why we are full color. Because I, color I, listen, I love the color. And, I'm, and, and I applaud what you have done. A lot of people don't really understand what it takes to really uh, present Caribbean programming here. I would like to see something even more better, you know, in terms of our owning our own stations and so forth. But this is a great start, you know. People need to read, you know. 
people we really need to read and know what is going on. So if you're going to start someplace, please start with where, where it's that? at. <laughs> okay. Thank you, my brother. This is Fred Locks. One. Thank you. Okay, hi folks. This is Fred Locks on the Fred Locks Show. And I'm also co-hosting for Serene Fuller and her show. Uh, I have with me today at the Jerk Fest, you know, this is the big day. This is Mr. Bobby Clark, the CEO of Ari Jam Media. And we have Mr. Turner here with us. Uh, let me let them say a little something for themselves. Hey, how are you doing? How's everything going? Hey, everything is good. Now listen, how do you feel about the event and what's your uh, You know role? what? First of all, I think the Dirk Festival has grown yes. immensely. And I think yes. because of the organization and the people behind it, yeah. It's going to keep growing. It's a wonderful event. Yes, now, Mr. Yes. Turner here is in charge of publicity for this event oh, okay. and many other events in New York. This man is in charge of everything that moves in New York as far as events. Well, it's so, a so, if you need the world to know that if Anthony Turner and Images LLC is not handling your event, yes. it's not happening. <laughs> well, Mr. Turner. Thank you for your time, Bobby. <laughs> right, uh, I know respect. you're busy. Yeah, well, you thanks, thanks for your yeah, for all my event. <laughs> all right, good, good, good. Yeah, man, so I'm right. Anthony Turner. I handle the publicity for this event and yes. many other events. But one of the things that I wanted to say, uh -huh. today they're actually looking to break a record here. Yeah. In terms of attendance, the most yes. people here. And certainly want to say big respects to uh, Mr. Eddie Edwards from yes. down in Florida. Okay. He's, he was the visionary behind all of this. Oh, okay. And one of the things that he has always emphasized that this event is not just a concert. Yes. It's about food. It's about it's, jerk. It's about and he concert. wants that to be at the forefront of everything. And as you okay. said, it's also a part of our Jamaican and our Caribbean culture. Yes. And that has to be at the forefront. And of yes. course, BP Records, they've played an integral part in terms yes, of making this event what it is. Big up Miss Pat, Chris, yeah. and, and the other BP members. And that this is just the third year, I think yeah. everybody has to be extremely proud of what this event represents. And the, the turnout here is just phenomenal. Yeah, it is. I mean, I was here last year, and it's so, it's so wonderful to be back here this year again. And it's, oh man, the crowd is immense, folks. If you want to see a crowd, you got to look out there. And I'm going to take you out there in a little while. Exactly. But I really want to thank this gentleman, Mr. Turner, and his efforts, because as Bobby has mentioned, he's the man. I what, like talking to people. Well, you know? One of the things yeah. I want to mention, because yeah. I would be remiss if I didn't say this, is that okay. one of the events that uh, Bobby and Ari Jam Media has been involved with over the years is, of course, Ari Jamboree, yes. which was originally launched in 2002. Yes. It went on for a number of years, and three years ago, they decided to take a break to relaunch, to regroup. This year it's coming back bigger, much better. Oh, so better. that's what you guys have been doing. <laughs> exactly. oh, I thought they were sleeping, folks, but this is interesting. You exactly. Know, I, 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 you know, so you guys know, especially for Hot Topics or Series Fuller, they're making a comeback. Yeah, so but I, let, let, them, let me tell you about yeah. what is happening. Yeah. The first event is going to kick off on August 30th. It's going to be at the home of the Brooklyn Nets, which is the Barclays Center oh, in Brooklyn. beautiful. It's a three-night event. Yeah. And as you know, Labor Day weekend is about carnival. It's about the yes. entire Caribbean coming together. Yeah. The very first night is international night, and it's going to be focused on Creole and compa music. Right. So they have Wycliffe John, of course, hip-hop oh, yeah, star, good, good friend. Yes, a man yes. from Haiti. He's yes. going to be headlining that event with Tabo Combo oh, and okay. Kassav. One of the biggest, greatest. Oh man, that's a great uh, lineup. Yeah. yeah, one of the greatest Creole, Creole bands outfit. I've seen it many times in Dominica. Oh, okay. The second night is, of course, Soca Mania or Carnival Mania. And it's going to be headlined by Miss Alison Hines, Yo, Edwin Yearwood, and a host of others. Then the big night, the crowning night, of course, Irish Jamboree, which happens on, on, Sunday, on Sunday, September 1st, in the Barclays Center. The headliner, Mr. Junior Gong Marley, oh, man, Marley Royalties. <laughs> so he's going to be headlining alongside, uh, we have uh, I Octane, yes. he's one of the uh, headliners. Mm -hmm. And of course, the first performance by Shabba Ranks yes. in New York City for a very long time. So, I mean, who have, anybody who has been following uh, Shabba's career, last year was a phenomenal year. He, of yes. course, returned to Jamaica after about a 10-year hiatus. Jamaica greeted him with open arms and yes. it was a parade from yes, the <laughs> airport all the way to where he lived in Kingston. So Shaba coming back to New York yes. this year, Sunday, September 1st, it's going to be a major, major event. And we have Capleton on the bill, yes. the Dr. Beaneman is on the bill yes. and a couple other artists. So it's going to be at the Barclays Center again, the very first night, Friday, August 30th, which is international night. 
uh, Saturday, August 31st, Carnival Mania, and the crowning night is, of Sunday. course, Irish Jamboree. So you, you heard it, folks. Now, uh, listen, let me tell you something. This is not a show you want to miss. We'll definitely be there in the house, Fred Locks. You know, I sneak into everything. I go everywhere. You know, and, and for those who go, don't know who I am, listen, I'm coming to you soon. All right, BronxNet TV and a lot of other mediums. But thank you again, sir, for your time and your energy, and we really appreciate it. A lot of people don't know how much it takes to really put something like this together, you know. I want to let you know, it's not easy, but I'm happy that you guys are making a comeback. And right. may the best of luck for All you guys. Right, All right? Thank you.